Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For everyone who's new, my name is Sophia. So, I wanted to give you guys a new tutorial, something that I've never done before. I am going to be using Daisy Marquez's new palette that she just came out with. I actually, I think she came out with it, or it launched the end of February, but I just got my hands on it now. I just got it today in the mail, so I'm super excited to show you guys. Um, I've never done colorful bright eyeshadow before it's always been browns and neutrals or nothing at all so i'm super excited to show you guys how i did this it's going to be obviously you can tell it's like pinky burgundy orange look so yeah if you guys are interested and want to see how i achieve this look just keep on watching all right guys so let's just get right into this video um i wanted to start off by showing you guys i just got a new foundation i'm testing it out for the first time today so i don't know if, if i'm going to like it um but it's the naked skin urban decay foundation and it just comes in a package like this i actually just went to ulta after work um i wanted to get a new foundation and he sold me on this one so we'll see how i like it um on the back it says it feels like wearing nothing at all, yet naked skin transforms complexions. Skin looks natural, illuminated, and bright like the beautiful skin you were born with. Weightless and virtually invisible. This revolutionary formula creates a flawless demi-matte finish. Light diffusing spheres make you look professional, retouched. It's the ultimate, it's the ultimate and ultra foundation. So, we'll see how it works on my skin. It says, um, a hundred percent of participants had a measurable improvement in the appearance of skin imperfections. 96% had a measurable improvement in skin radiance. 90% had a measurable improvement in skin firmness. And 93% had a measurable improvement in the appearance of fine lines. <laughs> so... We'll see, it's a weightless ultra definition liquid makeup. Um, I was going to get the other one that's more, I guess it was more matte, he said, and um, it was firmer. So when you like pump it out, this one's like water where the other one was more of like a regular foundation. So we'll see, um, we'll go ahead and test it. It's, it looks, you know, it looks promising. This is what it looks like. And also, I'm in the shade 1, which is the second to lightest shade that they have. So, I'm pretty light. Um, so, let's give this a go. Um, before we do that, I already applied moisturizer um, when I got out of the shower. It's the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer, safe for sensitive skin, which looks like this. So, I just applied this already. So then um, it was about like 15, 20 minutes ago. So now we're going to go in and I'm going to go ahead and use my professional primer again, which is my go-to primer for everything. <laughs> so like in my other videos, I'm using the same foundation brush. I was going to try a beauty blender today with this foundation just because it is so liquidy. But since I love using brushes for my foundation. I thought I would just give that a go first, and then if I don't like it, I'll try again with a beauty blender, and then if I still don't like it, then I will return it. And then I also wanna see how it sits on my face throughout the day. But I'm using my Tarte, um, Tarte brush again. So he said, it says to shake really well. You can like hear the little ball inside, so. And it literally like, oh my God, I'm scared. It's like a liquid, so it runs really fast. So I'll just go ahead and try it. I'm still gonna do the dotting technique, so. Wow. <laughs> it's definitely not as full coverage as I thought it was going to be. Well, like he said, it wasn't, but it's definitely buildable. And like you can't really see it on my face at all. You can see that it changed my complexion so I'm not so red compared to how I was. And you can't, like it. it's almost like moisturizer in a way. So we'll just go ahead and do the rest of my face and see. Okay, that tiny little dot is already gone so I definitely need a lot more than other foundations that I would use. Okay, so 
So overall, this foundation looks so natural on my skin. Like, like I can't even see it. Literally, I can't see it. And it matches my color or my skin tone pretty well. My neck, I still feel like, is always much, much wider than any part of my body. I don't know, but I don't like dragging foundation to my neck. Um, so I'm just going to leave it. I think I think in all, I'm still going to do like a bronzer on my neck. I think it still looks really, really nice and really just flawless. Um, so we'll see how it goes through the rest of the night. As you can see, like, I, ha I don't know if you actually can see, but I have like a little pimple on my chin and then I have like a little red patch. I was just irritated right now that it didn't cover. I don't think it's full coverage. I think it's light to medium and then buildable, so I feel like you could build the coverage, but I feel like the more that I added, the more like, I don't know, the f I feel like the more I added, the more I could see it. So I'm just gonna do a light layer. I'm trying to um, transition myself into lighter foundation. I feel like I'm always using matte foundation. Next, um, I do, I finally, I finally, finally got the Fenty Beauty concealer which looks like this it looks like the foundation bottle but it's a little mini size I'm in the shade 150 I'm in the shade 150 for foundation as well um, I talked to one of the guys at Sephora and he said that you know if I wanted to do a little more brightening look I could get a shade lighter but I think I want to go with the shade that my foundation is I've already tried it and like other reviews I've been seeing, it's not full coverage, but it's buildable. So I think I'm gonna keep it still on the lighter side just because my foundation is so light compared to what I'm used of. Um, so I'm not gonna put that much on. I'm gonna actually use this beauty blender that I have, dirty, sorry, but it's just, I don't remember, I think I got it at Sephora. If I can find it, I'll link it down below, but I'm gonna use this one just because it's my favorite. I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of this one, but it gets so big and it just has like a flat end and then a pointy end. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that one. I don't know if you could tell the difference, but I just wet it and it literally got humongous. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. And then I'm going to do the same techniques that I was doing with my Shape Tape Concealer. Obviously, it's different foundation, but like, whoa, it's like really white. So hopefully I can like, it's just, it's too full coverage, I think, for the foundation that is a lighter coverage. We'll see after I do my powder. Okay, so now that the concealer is done, I'm going to grab my Fenty Beauty powder in the shade butter it's the pro filter one I'm gonna grab that and bake underneath my eyes my smile lines all that good stuff okay so I'm baking in those general areas I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the powder on my Sonia Kashuk brush and and just do the rest of my face just because it's not super matte and I'm not used to that so I'm just gonna go ahead and powder the rest of my face as well with the same Fenty Beauty one okay so while I'm baking those areas on my face um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows really quickly it's the same eyebrow pencil that I've been using Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade chocolate I believe it's the brow whiz so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows quickly. Okay, so my eyebrows are on. I just brushed through them really fast with, with my Wet n Wild um, brow mascara as well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe away the powder underneath my eyes and my, by my nose. So it doesn't look bad. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow. I also buying that Urban Decay um, 
foundation. I got three free like sample-y gifts as well because I purchased Urban Decay. Um, so I got the eyeshadow primer potion, 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 which looks like this. And then I also got um, the All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray that looks like this. And then I got the same thing again in just like a different package. I think the sizes are the same too. So I just got two of those. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, uh, we're gonna try the eyeshadow primer. Mm, I don't know, I don't use eyeshadow primer, but this is what the inside of the package looks like. And then there's the little eyeshadow primer. We'll see. I don't use it, so I thought I might as well just try it. Um, and it just looks like this. I'm sure there's a bigger size, but I obviously got the free sample size, so... So, now, to be very interesting, I've never done an eyeshadow like this in my whole life, and I'm doing it for the first time on camera, so we'll see how it turns out. I might just start all over and take all my makeup off. I'm also gonna wipe away my smile lines. Cause we're testing a new foundation, so I gotta see how it does. They're not that bad right now, so. I got the new Daisy Marquez palette in the mail today. So we're gonna go ahead and use it. It's super, super cute. It's two pieces. And she made it so you can make it like a little vanity. So like if you're going out, like in a hotel, whatever, traveling, you have your own little personalized mirror already. So the colors are very out there. They are literally bright. I've heard that they're very pigmented. So I'm kind of nervous, but we'll go ahead and give it a go. I think I'm gonna do more of like a neutral look with like the berries and like mainly like, let me just show you, mainly these two, these two, this one, and then maybe the black and maybe this like sparkly white color for like the highlight. We'll try, we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm scared, but it's okay. We're in this together. Okay, so. I'm going to start off with a transitions shade. You always gotta start off with a transitions, transition shade. Um, so I'm just grabbing my Sonia brush again, my little fluffy crease one that I like to use. And I'm going to grab, we'll just start off slow, we'll baby steps. I'm gonna grab this cream color, it's called, it's called Naked. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and start off in my crease. Okay, baby steps. Can't really see it, but there's a hint of orange in it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Dulce color, which is a little bit more orangey. So I'm not gonna grab a lot, just cause I'm scared, like I said. I'm gonna grab like, let's see, like this much on the brush and tap it and do the same thing in my crease. Okay, also, because I don't use eyeshadow primer, I feel like it's like, it's really hard to like blend out. And I don't know if it's just because I don't use it or if this primer is just like really sticky. I, I don't know, I should not have done that, but oh well. So next shade, we're going to grab, I'm going to grab the same brush, I'm going to grab this vintage, is what it's called, this next orangey reddish shade, I'm going to grab that, and then do the same thing, but a little bit lower on my eyelid, like right underneath my crease line that I just made. I think it looks okay so far. So the next shade, I'm still grabbing the same brush. I'm just wiping it off each time. 
I am going to grab uh, passion fruit, I think, which is just this burgundy, purpley, pinky, we'll just call it burgundy, a light burgundy. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and literally just put it on the ends of my eyes right here. And then I'm also putting it on the corner inside. And I'm just going to be tapping it on. I'm not gonna be like swiping it on like I was doing for my crease. I'm just gonna be tapping it. Now I'm still grabbing that same brush that I <laughs> have been using. It's working quite well, so I don't want to change it. Um, I'm going to go with this shade right here. It is called Bittersweet. It's the darker burgundy. And I'm just grabbing a little bit as well. And I'm going to be putting it in this middle part right here just to darken up the center a little bit. So I didn't tell you guys this, but I went ahead and grabbed the vintage shade again and brought it up higher onto my brow bone. It just kind of looked funny and I had to find another color to bring up there. So I just grabbed the same one that I used in my crease. I feel like I look like a complete clown right now, but it could also be because I'm not used to colorful eyelids. I'm used to the browns or the neutrals or like nothing at all. So. I'm going to grab this little flat brush that's white that looks like this that I kind of use for like the inner corner of my eyes I guess or underneath my eyebrow because it's very sparkly. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Lucid which is just a purpley shade. I'm going pinky purpley on my eyelids anyway so I might as well just try it. So let me just show you up close what it looks like. Okay, so I think that's all that I'm going to do and then I'm going to grab that same Sonia brush that I've been using for everything else in my eyes and just kind of like not get any color on it. I'm just going to kind of go ahead and smooth out the edges of the sparkliness just so it's not like everywhere. It's just like in that center part. Okay, so that's for my upper lid. Now for the bottom lid, I'm going to grab my angled elf brush that I showed you guys last time, and I'm going to grab vintage first, and then I'm going to grab passion fruit after that. For the color I think um, the last I, mm, I think for highlight I'm just gonna go ahead and use my highlighter that I'm using on the rest of my face so that's it for my eyeshadow part I'm going to go ahead and actually no it's not <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and grab the black in, in the shape well it's called matter I'm gonna go ahead and grab that black shade and then I'm going to go ahead and grab my e.l.f. flat eyeliner brush, which looks like this, super flat, super nice. And then I'm going to do it like almost on my waterline, but not quite. It's going to be like on my eyelash line, um, just on the outside corner of my eyes. Just like so is very black and then I'm going to grab my um, elf professional smudge eye sponge which looks like this and I'm just going to like smudge it out a little bit I just smoked it out a little bit I'm also going to do the same thing on the top but only on the outside part So 
So the eyelashes that I've showed you before um, is the Sephora collection. The case looks like this. It's just fringe number four. So what I did, I've already tried it, which is why they're cut already. But I have a different pair. I'll go ahead and show you. I'm not going to cut it, but I'll show you what they look like before and then what they look like after. So the Sephora collection eyelashes, fringe number four, the eyelashes look like this. So it's kind of short on the inside and then it fr like frays or fringes out on the outside. So what I did is I cut them and just kept the fringy part or the wispy part on the outside. So what I'm going to do is grab my Duo's glue and put glue on the eyelash like you would any other eyelash. Okay, and then I'm going to grab, um, I'm, since it's not going to be full eyelashes, I have to like curl them and make them look nice. So I have this Tarte um, eyelash curler. And usually I don't use eyelash curlers, but for this case, because I'm trying to make it look as natural as possible, I'm going to go ahead and use it. Okay, and then I'm going to grab my Lancome mascara again and go ahead and put mascara on like normal, like I'm just wearing mascara for the day. And then I'm gonna go ahead and curl the other eyelash, or my other eye, curl my other eyelashes, and put mascara on as well. So now that I have my eye, um, or now that I have my mascara on, these eyelashes are obviously just going to go on the outer corner of your eyelash, just like if you were putting falsies on, you know, I guess it's just, it's the same thing, it's just smaller and it's only going on the outside of your eye instead of your whole eyelid. Just like so. So I'll zoom you guys in just so you can see it. Um, and then that's what it looks like and then when it dries I'm gonna grab my mascara again and just brush through them that way it's all connected Okay, so while I'm letting my other eyelash glue dry, I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom um, mascara on my bottom eyelashes And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the top again and just blend those eyelash my real eyelashes with my falsies Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put those eyelashes on my left eye now. So that's it for my eyes until I do the highlighter. Um, so now I'm going to bronze up my face, put some blush on, put some highlighter on, and then I'll probably put a little bit of lipstick on and then I'll set my face and then that'll be it. In case you guys were wondering, I'm still using the, the Tarte Hampton Weekender for my bronzer. I'm still using the Tarte um, Party Blush, and then I'm still using the Fenty Highlighter. Um, so now I'm going to grab my little brush that I use for my highlight on my eyes and do my inner corners and underneath my upper eye bone. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and use my, for my lips, I'm going to use my Buxom um, lipstick again. It's the shade Soft Whisper, if you guys can see my last video, or my first video actually. I'm going to use that and then same, you know, same Smile Direct chapstick and put that on just because it's a nice soft like pinky nude color and um, when it wears off it just leaves a slight little color to my lips. I don't want any bright lip, bold lip just because my eyes are super bold and I don't have a good um, nude lipstick yet. I'm still trying to get one. I don't know which one to get. <laughs> so I'm just going to use that for now. And that is it for my face. Now I'm going to use the All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray from Urban Decay. I'm just going to go ahead and open the one that's already in a box. It says up to 16 hour wear lightweight temperature control technology. So this is what it looks like. Just a tiny little bottle. Hopefully you like it. 
shake well and then spray. So that is it for my makeup tutorial. My eyes turned out pretty well. I'll just go ahead and zoom you guys in one more time so you can see them. So that's what they look like with my eyelashes, um, my eyebrows done, and my eyeshadow. It's pretty, I was gonna put um, uh, eyeliner, oh my god. I was gonna put eyeliner on my lower lash line but I think it looks pretty good without it so I'm just going to leave it how it is. Um, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. All of the links will be down below for all the products that I used today. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to try to attempt a different look with the eyeshadow palette from Daisy Marquez again in another video. I'll probably practice it off camera first and if I like it, I'll do it on camera. Um, but yeah, if you guys did like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Um, follow me on Instagram. We'll go ahead and have that on the screen above as well. And thanks for watching. <laughs>